Hi there, my name is Jackie Decker. This video is about how you might use the learning tools at mathies.ca. So the first thing you're going to do is navigate to mathies.ca and then you can click learning tools here at the top. And when you're in there, there's an alphabetical list of the types of tools so you can scroll through those. We see a lot of manipulatives that we often see in classrooms. So algebra tiles, color tiles, which some of us call square tiles, We've got some fraction strips. We've got some pattern blocks, a pattern maker, wreck and wreck, relational rods, which some of us call Cuisinaire rods, and so on. You'll notice that for all of the tools, you can open it in English or in French, though once you're in, you can switch the language. You can download it to your computer. And I must caution you, if you do open it, it does require Flash to run, so you'll have to enable Flash for this website. For some of these tools, you can also download it as an app in both the App Store and Google Play, so you can get it on your device if that's where you would rather use it. And once you are in one of these tools, it doesn't matter which one it is, it has a very similar setup. So we're gonna start at Color Tiles. You'll notice we have a workspace. We have the tools here on the left, and we can just drag those in and use them. If I want to use more than one, I use this tool down here to get 10 of them at a time if I like. And once I have some, I can select all of those things. I could select everything I've got here with my hand tool, and then I can rotate that selection. I can copy one above it. I can copy one below it. I can copy one over here. I can copy one over here. That's what this copy button tells me. And if I'd rather have these tools somewhere else, I can click that and that goes over here. And now I can use these controls here. If I don't like this mess I've made, I can undo the last thing I did, or I can reset my entire screen and I can go right back to the beginning where I chose what kind of color tiles I wanted. I can switch from English to French. I can use the annotation tool where I've got a pencil whose color I can change here. And I can draw with that over top of whatever work I've done. I can change to the eraser to remove any annotations I've made. I can make lines. I can make number lines. I can put jumps on my number line and connect that to the work I'm doing with those tiles. I can make all sorts of shapes over here and change the color of those shapes. And I, when I'm done, I can switch back and use my cursor. And these tools are very similar in algebra tiles. You'll notice they're very similar over here. I can add more than one at a time. I can change the size of my X and Y tile. I can change to positive and negative. Tools look very similar in the set tool. I just start out by putting a frame in there. Whoops. I can change that to a five frame if I want to. Then I can come over here and I can drag my objects in and I can use the tools in a very similar way. Pattern blocks work in a similar way, but the background looks different. So again, I can drag in those pattern blocks, but if I want a whole bunch of them at once, I can bring them in here and then I can deselect them and move them singularly, or I can select them all and move them all around. So these tools can easily be used by a teacher or a student to explore or to solve a problem that has been set online.